Now let's go ahead and understand what is option derivatives. So as the definition of a derivative goes, an option is a derivative financial instrument that specifies a contract between two parties for a future transaction on an, of an asset at a predetermined or at a reference price. But that's the definition which is quite close uh, to future contract. Then how the uh, option as a derivative is different from future contract. So when future contract, it is mandatory for you to, uh, to execute the uh, contract when if you are holding the contract. In case of option, it is not mandatory for you to execute the contract. And that's the exact definition of option contract or option. Option is, an, is a derivative which gives you right to buy or sell but not an obligation to buy or sell. Let's say if a particular option is giving you a right to buy but not an obligation to buy that is called call option. If an option is there to sell which gives you right to sell but not an obligation to sell that that's called put option. Now let's understand some of the terminologies there that we use in option contract. The first one is call option which we just discussed it's a right but not an obligation to buy. Put option it's a right but not an obligation to sell. Option price is the amount per share that an option buyer pays to the seller. Expirance, expiration date is a day on which the option is no longer valid. It's, then there's a strike price that's a reference price at which the underlying uh, asset uh, may be traded since it is a uh, right but not an obligation. So hence we are using the word it may be traded. Then there is long position. So buyer of an option assumes long position since uh, he will be uh, he has bought this option that whether he can buy or sell in future or but not obliged to buy or sell in future. Similarly short position seller of, of an option assumes a short position because he is the one who is uh, selling this option to the buyer. Now let's understand this option with one example. Uh, we'll take the example of call option. Let's say that uh, I am I'm buying an option to purchase an asset at rupees 10. Uh, that will be my strike price because I have agreed to purchase an asset at 10 rupees from some party. I do not know the party since there is no counterparty risk. It is exchange traded uh, uh, fund. It's, since it is exchange traded derivative, hence I have agreed to purchase the asset at 10. That means I have a right to purchase at 10, but I am not obliged to purchase at 10. Now situation 1, if the uh, 6 months down the line or 3 months down the line, whenever there is expiration date, if I see that the price of the uh, product is rupees 12, right? So instead of buying it at 12 rupees, I can go ahead and buy the asset at 10 rupees. Hence that will make me a payoff of 2 rupees, that will save me 2 rupees. So in that case, I will go ahead and execute the contract. But in case the spot price is rupees 8, that's the current price of 2 months, 3 months, whenever uh, I'm trying to execute the contract. If I see that uh, the price in the market is lower than the pre-agreed price, that is my strike price, in that case, I'm not going to execute the option. Why to execute the option and purchase the asset at rupees 10, where I can get the asset uh, from the market at rupees 8. Hence, I will not be executing the option and that's the benefit of this derivative which is called option.